Hi, I'm Dr. Nelson from the Arizona Department of Health Services, Division of Behavioral Health. You probably have seen and heard from us through press releases, frequent website updates, Twitter tweets, community outreach events, and messages like this one. It's my hope that you find these resources informational and helpful as we now move into the implementation phase of difficult but necessary changes in our system. Prior to finalizing the benefit guidelines recently, I'm happy to report that we were able to reach over 2,300 community members through 40 plus community outreach events held throughout the state. We listen to you and are very grateful for the feedback provided by all of you who participated in these forums or provided feedback through any of the other means available. We, along with the Regional Behavioral Health Authorities, are now entering into the implementation phase of the changes outlined in the benefit guidelines. Over the next four to six weeks, we will be focusing on the following implementation activities. First, finalize any needed contract changes with the Regional Behavioral Health Authorities. Second, develop monitoring mechanisms to carefully track important performance indicators related to the benefit packages for SMI members, the crisis system, and supported housing services. Third, further develop and maintain a strong community support system to ensure that individuals affected by the service changes remain an integral part of the community infrastructure. Fourth, monitor and oversee a safe transition process for individuals moving to the new benefit package. Fifth, finalize any needed policy and provider manual modifications. Sixth, clarify how certain grant funding can be used to support substance abuse crisis treatment and detoxification needs. And last, produce helpful tip sheets for providers to address critical topics such as documentation, billing, and accessing certain brand name medications. Our goal has not changed. It is to provide the best behavioral health care we can for as many people as possible while working within the financial and legal considerations we face. We will continue to engage in outreach efforts to the community and provide you with ways to have input and stay informed. Thank you for your continued support during these most challenging of times in Arizona. During these last couple of months, it has been nice to see the community pulling together, coming up with creative solutions, and offering assistance and support to each other. I'd really like to keep that level of collaboration and support as we continue to move ahead. If you have any questions about the benefit guidelines, or this next implementation phase, please contact your local Regional Behavioral Health Authority or call us at 602-364-4558. Thank you.